Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to be talking about DMX. So what are the benefits of DMX with LED strip lights or LED strip lighting? What even is DMX? And what are the advantages of DMX over RF wireless for example? So let's go straight into this. So here we have a DMX setup. So what DMX with LED strip lights is? DMX is a standard protocol that has been around for many, many years so probably 20, 30, 40 years, and it's traditionally used in the theatre industry, for example, where you could have all of your lights going back to one huge DMX desk, and you could use the sliders, and you could select the power cams, you could select the backlighting, the stage lighting, everything from one controller. And that is a DMX controller, and it is used in the disco industry, it is used in so many industries now. It is a standard protocol, which means the benefits of this are you can use multiple or any manufacturer of DMX controller or DMX receivers, and they will go hand in hand and they will work together. So for example, if you have a home automation system, and on that home automation system, the it has ports on this controller that you have. It has ports to be controlled via DMX. So then you could come to ourselves or another supplier and say, I would like LED strip lights, and I need them to work from a DMX controller. So at that point, we know, okay, we will go with our power supply. We'll go with our DMX receivers that work with our strip. And then we will know with a simple Cat5 cable, or it can be 3-pin XLR or 5-pin XLR, so whichever cable it needs to be, this can control to your DMX controller and they will work guaranteed work because you have a DMX controller and we have DMX receivers. So that is so good and that can happen in any industry, in any project. So say if you, again, if you're in a theatre or it's in a cinema and then you, you have multiple lights, you have multiple lighting on a DMX controller, it is a huge DMX desk, or it is a laptop with a DMX controller on there, which is very common now. As long as you say this, we're looking for DMX control, then you can use any DMX receiver to work with that system. So as long as the DMX receivers work with the product that you're putting on them, in this case, LED strip, then any day it's going to control or control them. So it's such a standard protocol used in the whole industry across the whole world that if you mention DMX and you'd like DMX control, you only have the controller or you only have the receivers and you need them to work together, they will guarantee work together. So it is a great, great um, control method, control protocol in the industry. Um, and how it works is you would have a power supply, you'd have a DMX receiver, and in this case, these are 12 or 24 volts. But if you have other lighting, such as 350 milliamp lighting, you would have a DMX receiver that is a 350 milliamp DMX receiver or a 700 milliamp DMX receiver. In this case, for our, our LED strip lighting, these DMX receivers are 12 or 24 volts. So you have your power supply, go into a 12 or 24 volt DMX receiver, and then use a 12 or 24 volt product on this receiver. Then the signal is linked via Cat5. So in this case, we have a wall controller. This is one of our wall controllers, and it is a DMX wall controller. So a Cat5 cable will go from this wall controller into the first receiver, and then it will link. So you can have multiple receivers all working from one controller. So these receivers it could be powering hundreds of meters of strip. You could have hundreds of these receivers. So for example, if you had an absolute huge hotel and you wanted them all wired back to one power supply, you could have 50 rooms where you'd link from this wall controller to the first receiver in one room, but from the next receiver to the next room, to the next receiver and so on, up to 50 times for, with Cat5 cable, and then you would select the colors and all of them would be selected together. You could also have a controller that can have that is a multi-zone controller. So those 50 rooms can all be linked together with the Cat5 cable. And on the side of the DMX receiver, you will either have a dip switches, so it works with DMX512, um, 
up to 512 different channels. And you can select, there could even be an LCD screen on, on different receivers. So you can select these receivers and they work in binary. So I could select the receiver to zone one, select the receiver to zone two, so, and so on. So I can have 50 different zones from a wall controller if that wall controller is capable of controlling 50 zones. So if this ended up being a, a laptop, for example, on the laptop, I could have the 50 areas and I could select each area. I could select 30 of the rooms to be a blue. I could select 20 of the rooms to be a red. All from this one controller. I could grab all of the 50 rooms and I could get them all to do the same thing or individually. That is fantastic because with these controllers, with DMX, you could have a cheap DMX controller for £30 or you could have an extremely expensive controller for 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 pounds, all depends on how little or far you'd like to go with the DMX. You may use the DMX because you would like the fact that it's hardwired. You like the fact that there isn't a wireless signal from this controller to the receiver, it is a wired controller, so you like that, that's reliable. So you could have a 30 pound DMX controller going into a 30 pound DMX receiver, and away you go, that's fantastic. It can select the colours and it's reliable and that's what you need it for. You could also say, as mentioned earlier, you've got 50 receivers and you want them all different rooms. You want to have a laptop controller and on that laptop controller, you could have as far as time. So you could say at 8 a.m. I want all of these receivers to come on and create a pure white or a warm white, for example, let's say a warm white to create the sun coming up. So it, the lights can gradually change between eight and nine a.m. The lights can go from a, a warm white to a brighter white. And then at 12 o'clock, you could set it so that they go to a neutral white. And then at 5 p.m., you could set it so they go to a cool white. You could do that all from a controller. It can have the time delays. That's all from a DMX controller. You can set that, you can even set it through the clock for 365 days a year and where it knows where, what time of year it is, so whether it's what season it is and what time to come on and to represent the colours. You can use this with RGBW so it could be colour changing, so you in the morning you want it to go from reds to blues to greens and so on. So the limit is endless with that. You could have this linked into a nightclub where it's you have set times, for example, so at 8 p.m. you could have all of your lights on a slow colour scroll. At 10 p.m. this colour scroll could speed up, it could be a fast colour scroll. And then at 11.30 when it's party time, you could have all of the lights strobing, chasing in a preset scene that you've planned prior to that. And you can just click the button and all of the lights will do that. So that's ex explaining all the sides of DMX from very basic to very extreme what you can do. So the main benefits compared to radio frequency is reliability in terms of signal, is to the fact that you will have a hardwired cable from your controller to your receiver. This cable can be as far away as you wish. This cable can usually go up to, I believe it's 50 meters away from your wall controller. You can have 50 meter cables between each receivers. There is a point where if you have I believe 50 receivers or over 500 meters of cable, I would have to check that you would need a, a DMX booster signal, which throws the signal, which gives it extra power to the signal to make the signal go further and, and not lose any signal towards the end of those 50 receivers. So I'm trying to think of as, as many benefits as we can. So the main one is the wired. I've explained that it's a standard protocol, so you can go and use anybody's controller so if you if you decide that you'd like to purchase our receivers our strip but then you see a really nice touch panel controller dmx controller that you prefer to use you can go and buy that from another manufacturer put two and two together and they will work absolutely fine so there are a couple of options for the um couple of advantages of the dmx so please comment away if you have any questions we are always on our youtube answering comments and we will even create videos of your comments so sorry if i've rambled on um, but i will create a blog about this as well so please comment away and i will answer as many questions as i can and if there's any 
fantastic questions that I believe I should create a video about. I will as well. Check out instyleled.co.uk and thank you very much.